Quran is a madrasa, it's a, it's a school, it's like continuing education that you go back to, like a physician or anybody that's in a, a type of practice that needs uh, the skills to be upgraded, enhanced. Ramadan is the yearly time that we return to this school of taqwa and of sabr. The Jumu'ah is the weekly time. The prayers are the daily times that we return, we realign ourselves with the divine. Human beings are in heedlessness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَضْحَكُونَ وَتَبْكُونَ وَأَنْتُمْ سَامِدُونَ You laugh you we, and you are in a state of heedlessness that you, you, you forget your Lord. This is one of the deepest illnesses of the human being. Imam al-Junaid when he was asked what he thought the foundational sin of the human being was, he said that it was ghafla. It was heedlessness because all sins emanate from heedlessness. But there's another reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this uh, practice of fasting. In the, in the verses that follow, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, first of all, ayam al ma'dudat. Ayam is called jam'u qilla. It's a a plural of paucity. It's a plural that indicates that there, there is not much of it, like amwal. Because wealth, mal, there's not much of wealth. People don't have a lot of wealth. So amwal is the plural of wealth to indicate that wealth is something that is limited. Ayam al ma'dudat, limited days. You have a few days. And then, وَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفْرًا فَعِدَّةٌ مِنَ أَيَامٍ أُخَرٍ But you can make up those days if you were sick or traveling. وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ فِدْيَةُ طَعْمِ مَسَاكِينَ or فِدْيَةُ طَعْمُ مِسْكِينَ That if, you, if, you're, uh, if, if, if you, you're able to do it, then you can give fidya, so you pay. That was abrogated uh, by the verses that follow. فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمْ الشَّهْرَ فَلْيَصُمْهُ so people used to be able to do fidya if they were wealthy, they could do fidya, but that was removed. And everybody has to fast unless you're sick, uh, and then you can do fidya for that. But other than that, everybody has to fast. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about this, fidya tuta min miskin, wa man tatawwa khayran fa huwa khayrun lahu. And whoever does uh, extra, this is better for him. Again, those were abrogated, but they still apply to nafila fasting. You draw near to your Lord with nawafil, with extra acts, until Allah loves you. And so fasting is one of the ways, three months, uh, three days out of the month, it was the practice of the Prophet ﷺ. Some of the Sahaba practiced the fast of Dawood ﷺ, which was every other day. Some practiced Monday and Thursday. But the Prophet himself, his practice was three, ayam al the three days of the, the white day, the white days. So the fasting woman, But to fast is better for you. That's if you have a choice. Like if you're traveling, it's better to fast. Some say, though, if there's difficulty, that you should leave it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنَ this shahar, this month, is the month that the Qur'an was revealed. The Qur'an, the inzal of the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inna anzalnahu fi laylat al-qadri. On the 27th, according to most of the scholars, but the Prophet said, look for it in the odd days of the last 10 days. The Qur'an came down to sama'u dunya, the entire Qur'an. Jibreel alayhi salam brought the Qur'an down to the, the, this earthly, Canopy, the heavens, the earth of the heavens.